What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I don't know if you were with me on Saturday when we streamed and live reacted to Donald Trump's gigantic return to Butzer, Butler, 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 Pennsylvania, where there were somewhere around 70,000 people on the ground and hundreds of thousands more watching live in a historic event that saw Donald Trump return to the site where uh, he almost lost his life, also bringing Elon Musk on stage to truly trigger the libs. Elon Musk now announcing a wild new plan that will get you paid every time we're going to talk about that. You can make money for referring people to vote. I don't know how that's legal, but I'm going to tell you about it, and then you tell more people about it. We can all get some money, and then maybe I'll use mine if everyone uses my referral code, I'll use it to do make a donation for hurricane relief or whatever the case may be. Defiant Trump supporters to send on Butler just two months after witnessing the attempt on Donald Trump's life. Now, I want to remind everybody too, if you haven't yet, go to thequartering.com and click that members only button or just go to the quartering slash members. Sign up today to support not just my daily videos, but also my live show with Melanie Mack and Six Hex and Hammer. You get exclusive video content not available anywhere else. Two to three member videos a week. Six and I are, are filming one today, I think on the October surprise. We'll see what he wants to say. We've got another one, Pet Tour. Then I've got another one coming out with Melanie tomorrow. This is the only place you can get it, and it supports the channel directly without anybody else's grubby little fingers taking a percentage. You also get access to our private Discord where you can talk directly to me. Many of you have already done that. Hundreds of you talking with me directly from everything about squatching to playing video games to political news. You can call in live on the show if you're a live show viewer. You also get exclusive discounts, not just on Coffee Brand Coffee, which is 20%. So if you're a Coffee Brand Coffee customer and you buy regularly, the membership is free. I also have increased discounts for Anton's Biltong, increased discounts for Sheath, Every sponsor I've ever had, I've been I've been uh, working on to get bigger discounts, which are all available in the members' Discord. So hopefully you'll click that link down below. Join the members' community. I need your support. Standing on the precise spot where he almost lost his life just 12 weeks ago, he looked out on the crowd of his supporters bigger than the Super Bowl. Amid the sprawling throng of Butler Farm showgrounds, in Pennsylvania, spontaneous chants of fight, fight, fight broke out periodically. And rally goers wore cowboy hats saying, Trump, bulletproof, you missed. There was an opera singer, tolling bells, Mexican waves. What's a Mexican wave? I don't know what that is. Is that the wave? They're just calling a Mexican? I don't know. A flyover parachutist doing aerial tricks. And even a dramatic cameo by scene-stealing Elon Musk. Trump has held over 50 public events since he survived an attempt on his life in Butler in July, but his campaign believes the size and energy of this appearance will act as a launch pad, propelling him down the final stretch to the White House. I believe so too, and there's several reasons why, which, which I'm going to outline in this video. Uh, at the entrance, they were greeted by a life-size statue of Trump, fist raised, placed on top of a camouflaged army truck. Uh, nearby, a man dragged a 15-foot-high cross, which is too big to get through security scanners, Perimeter fencing was clad with banners that said fight, fight, fight. It was an absolutely electric event. I mean, this is just a little bit of when Elon came on stage. Where, where is he? Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations, and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send America. Hey, he's going to preserve. Take over, Elon. Yes, take over.
as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. Um, well, first of all, I want to say what an honor it is to, to be here. And, uh, you know, the, the, the true test of someone's character is how they behave under fire. And we, we, we had one president who couldn't climb a flight of stairs and another who was fist pumping after getting shot. <laughs> Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. Vote, vote, vote. Thank you. He's talking about, like, I think voter registration, and I think it's in Arizona and one other state, maybe Georgia, closes today. So make sure uh, you register to vote. And if you have a friend, a reluctant friend, you can register right online. It takes, like, no time at all. Register my brother-in-law on Saturday before dinner. In a massive security... Uh, police roamed the grass on horses and two large drones buzzed overhead. Wow, where, where are those drones from? As the venue filled up to uh, fill up three parachutists, parachutists with red, white, and blue canopies, and a trailing a giant flag swooped into heavy metal music. Then a somber silence as a crowd uh, across the crowd as a pastor asked God to bless your servant Donald and protect him from further attacks. Supporters bowed their heads and some raised their hands in the air. Later to huge cheers, a painting of Corey Compratori, or Comprator, uh, the former firefighter who did not survive that day, was unveiled on stage. His uniform had been placed in the seat at the bleachers behind Trump. Trump revved up the crowd by flying over twice in Trump Force One as music from Top Gun blared out. Dan Scavino, senior Trump advisor, filmed a video of the scene from Trump Force One captioned, Wow! Take a look at Trump Force One flying over Butler, Pennsylvania. Let's do this. I mean, absolutely massive, massive crowd. It was really like nothing I'd ever seen, perhaps an inauguration. Some people might say that, you know. So then they spent a good amount of time and a appropriate amount of time remembering not just Corey Comprator, but the two other people who were injured on that day. And uh, I thought that was really classy. And... Um, this is a team up that has had a massive impact on the election. Now, as always, I will say, geez, the gap's gotten bigger since I, since I refresh this, I think. But poly market is just directional. Okay. It is, it's just like polls, polls and poly market are both to be looked at with a grain of salt. However, there is a clear velocity that happened after Saturday where Trump had been slowly making ground up on Harris. Let's go to one week. Look at that. Look at what happened on the day of the rally. Donald Trump now was basically eking ahead on October 4th. Okay. Barely, barely, barely. Then the rally happened. He now in the betting markets, again, very emotional reaction. This is saying he now has a seven-point lead. Seven. Where on October 6th, um, the date, that was Sunday. And then, the, so this is all post-rally. Trump has simply exploded. Uh, his odds here, 53-46, that's the biggest gap he's had on Kamala Harris. And it's also important to remind people that in the last week, Kamala Harris had been leading by two points. So that is a nine-point swing in the betting markets. If you look at real clear politics, coincidentally, there was no, near po no new polling that came out on Sunday. That's probably because it's bad for Kamala Harris that's why Kamala Harris ran to every podcast and 60 minutes and all that. None of that is going. This is what I said. This is what I said would happen. If you follow my channel, you've heard me say this. Trump needs to ignore her. Ignore her bigly. Because she will then be forced to she will then be forced to go and talk to people. And that's bad. Every time that woman opens her mouth and something comes out of it instead of something going into it, bad things happen. And we look at the national Trump v. Harris poll right now. 
I believe when I saw this this morning, I thought it was real clear politics. Let's go there first. This was this day in history. Okay, here's the RCP poll average. It's the only number that's even worth looking at. Oh, look, a new poll finally came out from TIP uh, that has Harris plus three. It's pretty big. When you look at the RCP average, though, this day in history, Joe Biden led by 10. Joe Biden led by 10 points and ultimately won the election by like 30,000 votes. October this day, uh, this day, the aggregate lead that Hillary Clinton had was five points, 4.7 points. And the point and the lead that Harris has right now in the national poll is two. So she's trailing Clinton by 50%. She has 50% of what Hillary Clinton had and Hillary Clinton lost. Now, Donald Trump is going to need to keep the pedal to the metal for the next 30 days. All gas, no brakes. Um, and I know that's going to be hard. He's not as young as he was in 2015. But it's no choice. Now Elon Musk did this crazy thing. Sign our petition to support the Constitution. for every. Also earn $47 for every person you refer to sign the petition if they're in a swing state. So listen, if you're in a swing state, we're going to all make some money right now. Okay. The goal is one to get 1 million voters in swing states to show support for free speech and the right to bear arms. So when you go to this position petition, which I will leave linked in the description below, it takes you to this page. Very simple. The First and Second Amendments guarantee freedom of speech and the right to bear arms. By signing below, I'm pledging the support uh, for free speech and Second Amendments. In appreciating for your support, you will receive $47 for each registered voter that you then get to sign this petition, okay? Our goal is to get 1 million. That means if you're in Pennsylvania, Georgia, Nevada, Arizona, Michigan, Wisconsin, or North Carolina, we can all make some money today. And by the way, if you know people in those states, you can make money. I can't even believe this is legal, but I'm, I'm, I'll take 50 bucks. That's half a tank of gas, right? So all you need to do is go to the link, and then in the refer, okay, all I'm asking is you put the quartering at gmail.com right down here. It says right in the lower part of this It's very short form. Um, it says, did someone refer you? You just write the quartering at gmail.com. That's it. Then you go out and you tell people to sign it in those States and you use your email for that one. And then we can all make a little bit of money today. I actually think it's super genius. I could use 50 bucks. I could use 100 bucks. That's almost a tank of gas under Kamalonomics. So I'm going to leave the link. It's just the petition.theamericapack.org. This is a great way that I'm going to turn this money around and donate it to Hurricane Helene victims. So we get to raise money for Hurricane Helene victims without spending any of our money. I will you know, use, put my email address in there under the referrer, get people to sign up, and then you go make some money. Very, very simple. All you need is name, address, email, and cell phone number. Um, so, and by the way, I signed up like an hour or two ago. They haven't sent me any text. So I, I was worried about getting spammed into oblivion, but nope. So the quartering at Gmail, put it on as a refer, and then you know, once we get that money, we'll refer it, we'll spread it around to hurricane victims. Maybe we could get a, th think about this, folks. If we could get a thousand people to sign this, a thousand, that's $47,000 that we could put to that does, that buys a lot of dog food, a lot of cat food that helps a lot of people in need. So sign this petition, put the quartering at gmail.com as the person that referred you, then go out and get a bunch of other people so you can get money too. do it today. Cause I'm assuming once they get to a million, they're going to be done with it. This could be the genius move that wins the election for Donald Trump and Makes us a little bit of money. I'm not saying you got to donate yours. I think everyone could use a few bucks right now, but I will use it to spread around at the humane societies who are taking in pets from the flood victims, foster care stuff. I'll think of something great to do with it. Get me a thousand at least today and um, we'll raise a bunch of money, which is great. And then you go make some money. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.